best friend. Our friendship started when I used to own a girlfriend company in California. And for the last three years, we've been business partners. Okay, where's Richard? Okay, there you go. I was working for you. When I was working for Richard, I decided that I was going to go to culinary school. And after I graduated from culinary school, Richard and I decided to open up this restaurant. Hey guys, the first guest is coming in. Let's look alive. Probably the only parts edge I have is zero role restaurant experience. Can you help me a little bit? I just have a dream. Basically, they had a couple dollars in their pocket and they're like, hey, let's open up a restaurant. Okay, you got spiders on? Everything's on? You know how to do it? No, do you? No, well, hey, how hard can it be? If I have a meat fire on 10, I don't have a big fire on 10. Hey, one at a time. The kitchen is a mess. What's up, babe? I'm gonna have a man. There's no organization instruction. I laid down the skeleton 21 steps. They're doing high time, girl. Step over here. I don't think Jorge knows what he's doing. Once the guy here realizes food's just not working and that he needs to do something else. <laughs> My cooking is something that's a little more evolved and different. It's like, I like to just kind of take stuff that's basic and just sort of reinvent it. Yeah, you can't say that. Wow, this is weird. I was getting that. did not like the taste. They said it wasn't good. Jorge definitely thinks his food is like Olympic quality food. It's perfect. It's like having a friend that just thinks they're completely kick-ass or something and they're not that good at it. You can eat or seafood, but I'm not going to go to the stage one. All right, how are you doing, Drew? 45, so 40 minutes to an hour, and then I got little girls, and then I just got to die. Hi, hi, hi. When the heat is on in the kitchen. I've never worked this hard before.